Hello everyone, my name is Adredden. Today we are going to look at yet another type of base, kind of the pyramid slope base design that was so popular in Alpha AT. We're going to see what happens when the zombies, you know, encounter that. They can step on those types of blocks now, so we're going to just see what happens. Let's take a look at the base. Here is the base design that I'm going to go with. Let's we'll just see how it goes. This, yeah, it's just a couple high. It's nothing major. Uh, it's not very good against cops because their puke will quite easily dissolve all these. But for a pretty early base design, it used to be pretty good. Um, we'll get more into some of these base designs as it goes as we get further into these series. So, yeah, let's hop up here. Now, this is a door. Uh, and if you just sort of give it a little bit of a flick. When you come up, you can get in, and then you close that guy somehow. Find the right angle on it. And then we're pretty much good. We just have to wait for the horde to arrive. Yeah, so these wedge tips and wedge blocks were pretty good before. The zombies would basically just try to keep jumping up, jumping up, but this is just testing, so we're going to find out what they do with this this time. This base is actually kind of interesting because you can also use things like spears in here. Ah, uh, let's try to get one of these nice spears. Let's get a nice level 6 though. Yeah. May as well just have fun with it, right? Okay. Here we go. There's the horde. It's coming. Here's the horde. Well, there we go. What do we got? It looks like we are kind of safe ish if we do this. Now they are apparently climbing up so you're gonna have to have some way to prevent yourself from being attacked. Now I think these bars work pretty well. I'm pretty sure I wanted more zombies. Let's see if we can summon some more in here. Let's pause these guys. Okay so I've summoned in an army of cheerleaders because <laughs> I really want to test this out a little bit. You know it's gotta be something here. Right, so they're going to attack these bars. Okay, that's good. That's what I'm expecting. Um, is there are above them? So perhaps they're having trouble attacking that. Um, now they are going to pile up onto each other. That's one of the things they do in Alpha 19 here. So, nope, we got to break this pyramid here. They can't be piling up that much. I'm probably okay with this here base. We can get some nice head shots in here. We'll be much better off. Hurrah! Oh, well, something broke. It is interesting how they look up at you. After this, maybe we'll summon in some nice, nice friendly big zombies. Um, now, yeah, demolishers and cops don't work well with this. I tried to do this with the mini zombies in Alpha 18, and the explosions basically demolished this particular type of base. It doesn't really work well for that. Uh, I would recommend maybe having, I don't know, maybe we can design like a multi-area base. Where like, you know, you'd have this region where you fight most of the zombies, but when you start getting in some of those other guys, it becomes more of a problem here. Summon in some uh, feral whites, maybe. That should be interesting. <laughs> Well, we'll find out. Come on! Oh, hi! You got in! Cool. Get out. Please. So yeah, they're gonna it piling up a lot more now. Now, this would also be... I think we can throw a Molotov down there, actually. Yeah, totally. It's a good base oh, for that day. Um, one. I'm getting attacked on two fronts here. You can always get out. Um, get some water. Looks like I've taken some pretty big hits. Oh gosh. Yeah, I'm exhausted and I'm over encumbered. I wasn't really intending for that to happen. So yeah, um, not a terrible base for early stuff, but also not really great. This is interesting. Oh, let's pause them. Um, did you notice that they were kind of stuck up there? They weren't able to slide back down, but they weren't attacking the walls either. That I found interesting. How do we test what's going on here without getting killed? I guess we just have to like run around in god mode. Okay, so 
Yeah, I noticed that these guys are up here, but they're not really attacking the walls, maybe? Is that right? Oh, I see. They attacked that and then they got in. Okay, cool. So maybe a good base for multiple people? But it's not really fantastic for everything else. Let's get in here. Let's grab our stiff. Lots of these guys up here. Okay, they're, they're attacking. They're attacking that. All right. I was concerned that maybe they weren't so much. That they were not uh, getting that at all. But it seems like they're attacking the doors. But they do have trouble. So, I don't know. Maybe we can do something with that, too, at some point. We'll see. We'll see. If you guys enjoyed this test, let me know any thoughts and comments down below. And we will try some more things with these designs. Um, it looks like this type of base kind of works. Like, they can still... They're not sliding down, so it's not totally protected. But if you put some sort of thing above their head, they can't really do a lot. So keep that in mind, like they can't really get in. They would be able to run straight up, but yeah, because there's like a thing here that's kind of just like the player. They just can't get in there. Whew. These guys are way strong now. So we can probably design some more cool stuff based off of that. If you are new to the channel, hit that like button. And head on over to Twitter and Instagram if you want to follow me there. And subscribe over here if you want to learn more about 7 Days to Die. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.